Hi, this is Judy from Bungalow Quilting and Yarn, and I am here to do a video about how to work with Shannon Fabrics Cuddle. Shannon Fabrics Cuddle is some of the newest fabrics on the market that are wonderful, soft, and they add a lot of texture to your sewing projects. The problem with some of these fabrics is that people find them difficult to sew with, even though they really are not. The perception is that they are hard to sew with because they have a long nap. Some of them have shorter naps. Uh, cuddle fabric is, is uh, oftentimes referred to as minky. Minky is kind of a generic term for this type of fabric, like Kleenex is a generic term for tissue. Um, but this is cuddle. It's made by Shannon Fabrics and it is a higher quality of this type of fabric. So you can see that on this quilt here, we've used the shaggy cuddle and that's pretty much what I'm going to focus on today in this video. This is one of the examples of things that you can do with shaggy cuddle is something like this quilt here where there's not a lot of piecing or structure in the quilt. It's just a basic panel with borders and then the cuddle is what really makes the quilt. And then this one here as well um, is done with the blue shaggy cuddle and it has just a piece of flannel on one side with some batting, quilting, and then the shaggy cuddle on the back. So what I'm going to talk about is the quilting process of the shaggy cuddle. The shaggy cuddle, when it's quilted, has a lot of texture to it. It's, this is just being done with a stipple quilt, free motion quilting, just on my simple Bernina. It doesn't have to be a long arm machine. It doesn't have to be a sit down quilting machine. When you're done quilting it, you can turn it. The edges, if they're cut a little bit longer, can just be pulled, folded toward the right side, stitched down without any worrying of raveling. This, this fabric does shed when it's cut, but only the cut edge sheds. So when you're done shaking it out, the shedding should stop. Now, when you quilt this, you're going to put the cuddle fabric on the back, your main fabric on the front, and then you're going to drop your feed dogs. The feed dogs are dropped and then they're covered with tape. In this picture, I have them covered with my maker tape, which is available uh, through Nancy's Notions. It's also found at cntpublishing.com and it's also found at Hobby Lobby and other craft stores. Your local quilt shop also might be carrying it. It's my Terra Perfect maker tape that I've developed for seamstresses, but there is a separate video on that through CNT Publishing. So I'm going to talk about the process of quilting it. You've dropped your feed dogs, you have put your uh, tape over your feed dogs, and you've gone about free motion quilting it after you've basted it well. That's the easy part. When it comes to turning the edge over to the front and stitching it down, you've got several choices. You can choose to hand stitch it with a running type stitch that's small. This is very forgiving. You'll never see your stitches through here. Or you can do a whip stitch on the edge, or you can just sew it down with the sewing machine. When you use the sewing machine, that's the part that gets a little bit tricky. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop your feed dogs, cover it with the maker tape, and then you're going to put your free motion foot on. Your free motion foot is on. If you've got the capability to lessen the pressure on the presser foot on the higher end machines or even just a machine that has that option, this is just Bernino's basic starter machine, so I don't believe that there is that option on this machine. And then start with a leader strip. So you're going to start sewing with your free motion foot with a leader strip. And the reason you're using a leader strip, and I'm going to set my uh, needle stop down because that's the best way to do it when you're when you're sewing actually anything. So you're going to start with a leader strip because that's going to give you something to, to, to pull with. Now I've used my Tear Perfect Maker Tape on the front of this. It's a little bit difficult if you don't have something holding it down initially. You're going to start with your leader strip and you're going to use that to pull. So now I've got it started and I will be going along the edge. Now suffice it to say, this is going to be pinned very, very well or even hand basted before you start. So I've got it pinned very, very well. Pins are hiding in here, you can't see them. 
And I'm going to remove my pins before I get to them. I'll keep going on the maker tape and then I'll show you why the maker tape works so well for this as soon as I'm done. Now I'm going to use something really, really high tech, a business card. Or those little plastic black combs that you get when you get your children's picture taken work very, very well with the shaggy cuddle. You're going to go in front of your needle, just like this. And if it catches in the, in the um, business card, it doesn't matter, you just pull it out. This holds the cuddle flat, keeps it from getting caught up in the free motion foot. See how well that works? You're going to continue to move. You're moving the fabric, remember, because your feed dogs are dropped. So there's nothing to move your fabric for you. You have to pull it through yourself from the back. And you're going to continue this way until you're at the end. Okay, so when you're done with the maker tape, it's a little bit of work to get it off, but you can snip the the shaggy cuddle that is closest to it and just pull it right off. And it comes right off because it tears on a grid. And just keep working on it until you get it off. And you're going to continue to sew all the way down.